<laughs> Damn it. Well, I found my helmet. Yep. Seth's wearing it on deck. Yep. Sure is. Pro tip number one for helmet mastery, the chin strap. Now, I don't know. I don't know why he would. I don't know why he would take mine. He knows I hit after him. I mean, aside from the obvious benefits of the chin strap, he's I mean, got my number in it and everything. It's going to uh, save us from one of the most embarrassing situations in baseball. Hey. Did we vote on what kind of helmets we got this year? That ugly swing and miss on strike three, any helmet comes flying off. Let's not let that happen. Pro tip number two, face mask. I mean, when you can step in the box and you can tell him, hit me in the face, I'm ready. You may have him pitching out of the windup with a runner on second. I don't know, man. They just they just don't fit right. One more side benefit to the old face mask on the helmet. Dad! Is after you do hit your walk-off. Dad! And when you're round in third, obviously your plan is going to be to throw your helmet as high and as far as you possibly can. Dad! And the the added leverage and distance did you not pack my helmet that the face mask gives you on that throw did you not pack my helmet i mean it's, it's not even comparable well i don't know it's not in my bag pro tip number three for helmet mastery that we take our hat and we wear it backwards underneath our helmet no way. When you pair chin strap for safety, face mask for intimidation factor, that ball was so high I couldn't even see it. He already knows you're there for business. I know I'm on deck. I'm coming. I can't find my helmet. But when you've got this little piece of attitude sticking out there in the back, no, this is not mine. You know mine has a cheek guard on it. He knows you're also okay with the party. So he better not make a mistake. I mean, I would have beat that out if I would have had my helmet. Thank you guys for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. Uh, it really just kind of gives us an idea of what kind of stuff you guys are enjoying and lets us know what to put out for you. While you're at it, hit the subscribe button as well. It helps us grow our channel. It helps us be able to put out stuff for you guys. In fact, if you want to see some of our other videos, go ahead and hit the I card here. It'll send you to a preview of a video from the all access members only portion of our website. Hey, stay active, keep swinging and keep your helmet game tight. I'm going to now start showing how our weight shift is involved with the release of the bat. We just simply need to understand exactly where we want to be in our weight shift. So we're going to get a lot more specific. We're going to be talking about the timing of getting the back pocket in front of the tee at the same time we're hitting the ball. But the first thing we need to do, guys, is we need to rep this out and make sure that we can definitely get the weight transfer that we need. So we're going to put our arms across our chest. We're going to get at least 100 repetitions 